Wong. On the ground from Galvanize, San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now, here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at Galvanize at the Girls in Tech Amplify Women's Pitch Night event. Pretty neat event, I think they have 10 uh, entrepreneurs coming in, pitching their idea, trying to raise some money. Hopefully somebody gets some money at the end of the night, we'll find out. Uh, and we want to take a chance to, to hear the pitches. So, first off, really excited to have Dr. Sophia Yen. Welcome, and your company is Pandia Health, correct? correct? So, seven words or less, it says, Tech Medicine meets Amazon Prime for birth control and acne. That's Tell right. us a little bit more about it. So my goal in life is to make women's lives easier by saving them the trip every single month that they have to take to run to the pharmacy. We calculated that they spend about 10 weeks of their lives running to the pharmacy, waiting for their medication, and then getting their medication home. And in today's days and world, everything should just come to you right. in the mail. And then the, one of the top three reasons women don't take their birth control is they don't have it on hand. So we're like, we'll just ship it to you and keep shipping it to you until you tell us to stop. And then we realized from our market research that the second reason women don't take their birth control is their prescription ran out. And we said, I'm a doctor, I can write prescriptions. So the women just fill out a questionnaire, I review it, all good, or our physicians, not just me. And then we write the prescription and then we ship it to you and keep shipping it to you for another year for 39 bucks. So, so can CVS or Walgreens or those types of places can't send medicine, I assume? Is that kind of where the opportunity Some came from? Some of them can send it, but they don't have the incentive to push you there because they make money when you come in. That's and right. you buy all this right, other stuff. Right, you buy some stuff at the cash register. And so they have no incentive, but we want to make women's lives easier. We want to make sure no one runs out of birth control on our watch. And our hashtag is skip the trip to the pharmacy. <laughs> okay, so where are you in terms of the life of the company? When did you get started? How many people are you? Have you raised any money yet? Yeah. So we had the idea about two years ago. We joined one version of the company in September, and then uh, we started this company in March. We launched our product 4th of July weekend. We had a little computer glitch. And so then I'd say we actually mar launched in August. We have customers in the door, we have revenue, and now we're trying to raise $2 million to get out to seven other states by the end of 2017. If we get more money, we'd like to go to all 50 states. And do, and do you buy the medication and ship it, or are you just a middleman, you just kind of an aggregator? How does that work? Yeah, so we are the delightful user interface that pharmacies have not figured out yet. We have a partner pharmacy right now, and they fill all of the prescriptions. We okay. have our telemedicine, which is unique and different, because usually telemedicine, you have to be there exact same time as a provider. Ours is just a questionnaire, and we need your blood pressure and a selfie to prove that you are who you are but you don't have to be there at the exact same time. So it could be 3 a.m., it could be lunch, it could be in between, on a break, whatever, and then our physician fills it in. So that's our unique properties. Okay, and, and so you can write prescriptions based on a form, that's, that's legal. Yes. yes, so the thing we want to allay people's fears or concerns is in that 2012, and again in 2006, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology said birth control should be over the counter. And they've passed laws in three states that pharmacists can write it. So we've taken the protocol from California Medical Board, Pharmacy Board, and American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, taken their form that pharmacists use, and we're like, if doctors use that same form, we should be covered just as well. Right, right. So, well, that's interesting. So does it have to be a pharmacist? It can't just be anybody. They can't no. just start selling this on Amazon. No, no, no. So the pharmacists have to do a special training. They have to follow this protocol. Okay. But for us, we're doing doctors. Doctors have a little more leeway as to what we can do. But we've okay. taken their protocol, added our questions. It's the exact same thing I would do in my office if I was with a young woman but why not do it in a questionnaire where it's faster? Okay, and what's the ac acne uh, angle? Yes, so we're starting with birth control, and then it just logically, we could move to acne next. So the founders of Proactive have actually said, if you can get prescription acne medication, it's better, and you actually pay less. There are people paying $60 a month right now for Proactive, but if you have insurance, you could be paying a $5 copay for much better medication. And so for acne, all I need is a picture of your face, your chest, your back, and then a little medical history on a questionnaire, and I'll write you your acne prescription. So that's coming in the future. So, and again, so that, is that kind of in that same class of, of, of drugs, if you will, that could be written by a pharmacist and not a not doctor? Yet. Not yet. That is just pushing the realm of telemedicine. Okay. And we feel that, you know, 
acne is very low risk. The medications we're giving you, the most side effect is that your acne would get, you know, more severe. I say you look ugly before you get pretty. And then maybe <laughs> if you're allergic to the medication, but then you would stop and right, then you would right. contact us and we, we right. would be fine. Or they know? just don't turn off your prescription and the stuff keeps coming. I think that's some of the things <laughs> I've heard about some, some of those types of, of products. Well, very exciting. So the money is really what you're trying to raise tonight. You said $2 million. So We're trying to raise $2 million. Um, we're not going to get $2 million tonight, but maybe some of the investors in the audience would love to you know, fund us for $2 million to get us through 2017 and to get out to seven other states. We're okay. currently serving all of California, okay. and we would love to serve the entire nation. But you said there's only three states that have the California protocol. There's only three states that allow pharmacists, but as a physician, we mm. can do it in all 50, though there are two states that have ugly telemedicine laws, and we're hoping that Teladoc, who's fighting one of them, will win. Okay, and so the money's really just for go-to-market, or do you still need to do more technology development? No. Can you talk a little bit about Our the technology? Products, yes, so the technology is we have four different platforms. One that's patient-facing, that does the questionnaire and the patient interaction. One that's for our patient care manager, who looks at the patients coming in and talks with them. One for the physician, and then one for our pharmacy partner. So we have all of these different platforms. The other technology is we have a AI kind of thing that takes the questionnaire that the patient fills out and marks it into what we call red, yellow, green. Red, don't write this prescription. Yellow, you can, but you gotta talk to the patient. Green, everything looks good, go write it. And the physician will review all that because it's ultimately our name and our license on the line, the right. physician that signs right. it. But it's already pre-colored for you, flagged for you so you don't make silly mistakes. And I actually think it's better than what you get in your doctor's office because if you go to your doctor's office, they may not remember to ask all these questions. But because this is a protocol, then everybody gets the same good standard, cutting-edge, evidence-based medicine treatment. Machines coming into the medical field, um, which we keep hearing about. And then, are there, in terms of expansion opportunities, is it just ge geography? Are there other products that you want to fulfill within kind of this, this same target market? Absolutely. Where do you want to kind of, how do you see kind of the growth pattern? So, my initial joke was everything V. So, um, lubricant, condoms, anything you don't want to be caught dead in a pharmacy buying. Uh, personal hygiene products, these are all obvious partners that we can throw in the box. If we're sending you a box every month or every three months, why not send this with it? Okay. We also see ourselves exit strategy wise, like a Dollar Shave Club, but for women. We're send, we're, we have a recession proof subscription that will be going to women's doors every month, every three months. Anybody who wants to get in front of 18 to 35 year old women with disposable income can come through us and we'll send a physical sample of your thing or a coupon, whichever way you want to go to these women. Right, well the Dollar Shave Club certainly uh, turned out pretty well. We want to be the next Dollar <laughs> Shave Club. All right, Sophia, and then of course you've got a very interesting piece of jewelry we need to comment on. So is, it, is it a... Uh, uh, a Sagittarius symbol, a Taurus, is it a sheep head? I don't think so, what is it? Great eye. Um, <laughs> I always use my necklace as a test of observation. So you have a great eye, it's a uterus, and it just reminds me of the purpose of this company, which is to make women's lives better. All right, well, good luck tonight. Hopefully get a few uh, a few offers, and, uh, and good luck with the company. Last minute uh, pitch, where should people go to get more information? Yes, anybody who is on the birth control pill patch ring, check out pandiahealth.com. And if you have any friends, tell all your friends. If you have any significant others, tell everybody. We'll make women's lives easier and less stressful. All right, Dr. Sophia Yen, I'm Jeff Frick. We are at the Girls in Tech Women's Pitch Night. Thanks for watching. Be right back.